keep it secret, it's a different bills. Hey, don't go dim it, you need it, I got it listed, yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah. I'm from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface, still they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me win, you ain't like me. Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, all right? Today we're gonna talk about how to make a two-way dimer, but before we get into the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. It's liking up the video, push the video to the recommended, and of course, subscribe and put your note again for the daily uploads. But without further ado, let's hop straight into the video. Um, so again, I'm gonna go left-handed, because I'm left-handed in real life. I just love going left-handed, but you can go left or right-handed, it's not gonna change the build, okay? Um, we're going power forward. We are going 6-8 with this because the 6-8s are kind of like those new, really overpowered. Uh, I don't want to say overpowered, but just like the best bang for your buck at a 6-8 compared to 6-9s, all right? We're going to go 233. We're going to max out the wingspan because we want to make sure we still have the 90 strength for that gold brick wall, all right? Um, then what we're going to do down here is this. We're going to go ahead and go 75 on the speed. Um, again, like I always say, you try to get hit 75 at least for like your center builds. So you want to go at least 75 here. Um, then we're going to go 70 on the acceleration. We're going to go 90 on the strength, like I get said, for removal, forcer, and brick wall on gold. We're going to go 75 on the vert. And then our stamina, we're going to go all the way up to 95. And that's going to give us the workhorse on gold also, okay? So this is what we're looking at for the physicals, all right? Um, now when we come up here, I'm going to get my driving layup to an 80. I think I spoke about this a lot. Um, with this driving layup at an 80, it basically gives you that pro touch on Hall of Fame. It's very important there. You also will get Fearless Finisher and Slithery on Silver. So again, you just don't want to miss out on certain attributes um, and badges. I'm sorry, in animations. Okay, so you want to make sure you can get the best bang for your buck. And for me, an 80 driving layup is right where you want to be with this build. Um, we're going to go 55 on the driving dunk to get the Clay Thompson dunk packages. Those are basically like the straight arm dunks. And the reason why we don't put so much in our driving dunk anymore is because, for the most part, standing dunks is just where you really get, like, some crazy animations out of it. So, we want to go up to a 73, and as you see, that will give you precision dunker, it will give you fast twitch, and rise up on bronze, right? So, you just basically catch the ball on the pick and roll, go straight to the basket, and then head fake and go in the hit square, and you get crazy standing dunks, like, most of the time. Like, it's pretty self-explanatory. Now, if you play the game long enough, you know standing dunks are very, very good. The Clay Thompson driving dunk is good also. So if you're on a fast break or, you know, you get to the cup, yes, you'll be able to get a nice straight arm dunk. You don't need nothing fancy and crazy, right? You just want to be able to get straight to the cup. This is going to get you what you need with the 55, right? There's no behind the back. There's no back scratchers. This is just comp dunk package straight to the rim dunks, okay? Same thing here. Just straight um, straight arm dunks, understanding. Don't be trying to get everything else. Just don't get nothing to cock backs. Just get straight two-hand dunks right keep it simple like if you want to play competitively you don't want to get blocked those are the packages you want to utilize i know all the other dunk packages are fancy but they get chased down blocked a lot all right um then on the three-point shot we're going 77 on the three ball all right if you were to go 78 it would change it to a two-way three-point something right so you can get the two-way dimer by 77 if you go 78 you'll get the two-way three-point I don't know, it's like three point something, all right? I'm not sure, but I can't remember what it is, but it's gonna change the name, right? Then we're gonna go 72 on the mid range, and that's just because I wanna get the mini position, um, right? And just to have a decent mid range, period, right? So that's something that I shoot for. But again, it's your preference, there's no right or wrong answer. You can go with whatever badge, I mean, um, attribute that you like. Um, I don't give you, like, a, the builds that I'm showing you are just to show you how to, to get the name, and then you can go whatever you want. We're going 74 in a free throw for my rec players, and you get the free points on bronze. So I always try to at least hit 71, but then I went up 74 because I had some attributes left over, okay? Um, then I went 87 on the pass accuracy. You have the ability to go to 89 if you want to get um, Hilliburton passing style, but LeBron James is good too. Um, and the reason being is because like from 87 to 89, that's a lot of value that you, you take away. But I still want to make sure I at least got Bell out on bronze. You can still get the name at 86, but I just went 87 because I want to get the Bell bron um, Bell out um, on bronze because I just, you know, again, it's a good badge to have. There's nothing worse than passing out of a jump shot and it goes out of bounds, right? So getting on bronze is good. But a lot of people might not know is that this build has an 80 ball handle. So it will be able to get all the elite dribble animations. 
um and that to me is what sets this build apart because it's going to be a nice pick and roller but it can also be a good build in the park to dribble right you know you're gonna have a lot of centers on you um they're not gonna have a lot of perimeter defense and you know high ball still so you can take advantage of this so we're also gonna go 75 with the speed with ball to be able to get the magic johnson and of course the kevin durant dribble style okay so you're baby you're able to get like i said man that that real glitchy you know left to right switch i'm um, going to the basket with the magic johnson and you're also able to explode out of the kevin durant out of the hezzy so it just depends on what um animation you like to utilize okay but regardless with this 80 ball handle you do get unpluckable on silver you get ankle breaker on silver blow buys on bronze speed boost on bronze and of course physical handles on hall of fame so again really really solid in my opinion here okay and also don't get it twisted i didn't talk about that but you also get bulldozer on silver right so you are having that now if you want to go 92 then you're gonna have to lower some wingspan a little bit um on the defensive side we are gonna go 74 on the tier and defense just because i wanted to make sure i get post lock just a little bit of it we got workhorse here um on on um silver we get our perimeter defense up to an 87 so again we want that versatility here so you get clamps on silver ankle braces on silver challenger on gold you get fast feet on bronze you get pick dodger and 94 feet also you get on gold right and now you get your workhorse on gold um i said 94 feet on silver i'm sorry but you get workhorse on gold and off ball pass on gold okay then we're also gonna go 85 on the steel you know we got to get that glove we got to get that right stick ripper we got to get that interceptor we get all that on silver now so again that's very big to be able to have that versatility to be able to switch off and on with your lockdown whoever you can now switch about yo i got him switch switch um same thing here we're going 68 on the chase down just so we get chased down on bronze if you want to get the 77 there's some things you can do you can drop your mid-range all the way down and just keep the 77 three ball okay it'll still come out at the same name so if you want to get the 77 you can me i'm okay with just having you know a lower block i mean a lower block just for the bronze chase down going silver and is it really that much of a jump in my opinion i don't think so okay offensive rebound 75 and then defensive rebound 70. the reason why i go 75 on the offensive rebound is once again the build has the ability to pick and pop and to pick and roll but i tend to see a lot of people needing especially in park when you're playing against these randoms and stuff they like to play sides and really the slip is going to be there more than anything so having a higher offensive rebound is going to be good because you're going to be rolling to the basket a lot there's going to be a lot of threes being shot by your guard and there's going to be more opportunities to be in position to get offensive rebounds and on the defensive side but that's just my philosophy that doesn't make it right you can pick whatever way you want okay um and then here you have it my nephews and nieces we have the two-way dimer and of course you know um my man draymond green like, I know Draymond hasn't been shooting like he used to, man, but we all know Prime Draymond Green was the ideal two-way playmaking type power forward build, right? So let me know in the comment section what you think about this build. Um, obviously, if you enjoy it, drop a like, subscribe. But other than that, it's your favorite old head, Uncle Demi. We'll be back really, really soon on the banger, man. You know, when I say back soon on the banger, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out.